Uh, Sanjay, uh, Sanjay Daboya is also having expertise at SEO, SEO and uh, digital growth of businesses. So today he is uh, here to share the secrets, uh, uh, digital secrets of business growth. So without uh, going into much depth on that particular topic, I would leave it to Sanjay Daboya to do justice to this particular topic. So welcome Rai Sanjay Bhai and thanks for your time uh, for this particular session. Please take it away. The stage is all yours. Thank you, Tejas Bhai, for a warm welcome and give me this, uh, this opportunity to give a talk on uh, digital secrets of business growth topic. Uh, if, let me share first my screen. Okay. Is it okay, Tejas Bhai? Yeah, it's visible. Okay. Yeah. So good afternoon, uh, everybody. Uh, myself, Sanjay Daboya. I'm a partner of Solve Infotech LLP. Today, I'm going to give a, a talk on digital secrets of business growth. Uh, normally, we, if we talk about traditional business system, where there are three stages. One is idea, that is product or service. So anyone wants to start a business, they decide either uh, they have any product or they design product or they develop product or if they are in service industry, they decide what to serve as a service provider. Next phase is setup. So they set a physical store or office. And third is execution, that is marketing and sales. So this is how normal traditional business work. But today it is not going to work very well because uh, in COVID time, we know we had a lockdown. So we were not able to do a business, but there is a way. So. The thing is how to grow business. So it's by creating innovative ways to market products and services. When we say innovative ways to market, so it's it's look like that it's all about marketing, right? But before that, I want to give you example. Uh, we have we have seen so many stores around us or area where we live or work. There are many shops or stores that you are seeing from since last 10, 20 or 50 years. Okay. And uh, they don't have any branches or they just do a business with the same store, same pattern. They every day come and go, come and go and they do keep doing the business. They are earning well, but they are not making any good growth. Even sometimes I have seen, uh, we don't have any branch or we, we don't have any other branch. This is the only branch that kind of things they put on their banners. But why don't they think about scaling up their business? So they are not thinking out of box and that is the bottleneck for them. But today's era, in today's time, it is if you want to grow your business, you have to do something different. So what is that innovative ways? We'll see further. Uh, customer is king, not your product. Sometimes we say we have monopoly in product. We have developed this kind of things. We are providing good services. Uh, for example, if there is a lawyer, then he may claim that I can win any cases or if CAs are there, uh, he or she will say that I can save the lots of taxes or doctors are there, I can provide you best services, but it will not work. The thing is customer's king. Let customer decide what is right, what he wants. So whatever customer says, it's right. Uh, here I, I would like to read the quote from the Mahatma Gandhi. A customer is the most important visitor on our premises. He is not dependent on us. We are dependent on him. He is not an interruption in our work. He is the purpose of it. He is not an outsider in our business. He is a part of it. We are not doing him a favor by serving him. He is doing a favor by giving us an opportunity to do so. Gandhiji has very well explained about the customer. If we read this again and again, we can understand the value of customer. In other words, we can say customer centric thinking. So sometimes people say, uh, what about the employees? I can say not only employees, but whatever stakeholders uh, work with the business, either their customer or employee or any other service providers, they all are the stakeholders or you can consider it as a customer. So you can divide it external and internal customers. So at, uh, in, we can say, sorry, the customer centric thinking. 
if we go with customer centric thinking definitely we can win but how over the time we we need to change the things for example let's say uh, let's talk about the example of the physical stores i had given they are doing a good business they are serving their client very well but still they are not growing why so next yeah it's 2022 it's the era of digital footprint if you do not have any digital footprint your business will not scale up it's a must for business to grow so what are the digital footprints one is website or e-commerce store or mobile app or a digital marketing which uh, contains seo social media marketing paid ads or there are many other broad platforms like a uh, few businesses are doing a business with whatsapp whatsapp stores we'll see one by one if we talk about the website then what should be on website or e-commerce store so many people come to the it agency owners and they ask i need website i i need this i need this i need that but they are not very clear in their required why they need what should be on website and what should what should not so here i have given a few uh, items so anyone can easily understand if you are thinking about simple website or e-commerce store you should have the contact info about us testimonial and case study so testimonial is a proof proof of concept case study will explain that how your product or service will work how it helpful to others uh, blog faq use blog and faq is a good thing to attract the customer with blog we can generate more traffic with faq use we can save our time as well as customer time because with faq we can answer a few common queries very quickly to the client and we have to write it once a live chat is another good example with live chat if any visitor comes to your website you can set up some auto messages if clients are interested then they provide more detail then real person can communicate with them and nowadays there are lots of bots are available so most of the basic communication things or basic question answer can be happened through the bots social media link should be on your website because it is useful nowadays product details and images so whatever products or services you have you should provide the proper details and its images let's uh, take an example if you are selling a laptop battery then uh, you should list out all the models that battery uh, that particular battery supported vice versa you can also provide detail that uh, this kind of let's say different different mod, uh, different models of particular brand uh, will support this battery also even we can list out uh alternative of this product sometimes there are alternatives available or uh, different models can be adjust with the uh different model types so more details we provide it will be useful to the client uh images should be very clear it should be not distorted or skewed so clear image means uh more business uh another is search functionality if you go to amazon's website they have a search functionality in center top area so whatever public or people want they just go to search functionality and type it and now they are auto populate the thing so as you start typing the things things will be auto populate so it will be easy for customers or visitor to find the things and if they find things quickly they will keep coming again and again to your website another option is subscription and offer depends on your business style you can put subscription and offers Uh, if you if your website is a e-commerce store then you must have payment gateway and shipping integration there are so many things on this list uh, i have given the hint you can go to the google and check for the website features checklist or e-commerce store uh, features checklist with this googling you will get lots of information and more details another thing is website or e-commerce store ui ui ux this is very important point once you have list of features that you do need on website but what if it is not look good it will not work so here we are talking about two part one is ui that is user interface and another is ux that is user experience so when we talk about user interface it's about typography so what kind of font uh, fonts are used the size of fonts spacing between the fonts spacing between the lines uh, italic bold uh, in between if you if required we can highlight the fonts so that is the typography spacing and margin 
so as i say uh, spacing between two lines or uh, spacing between two objects or sections uh, differentiate uh, titles and text with the spacing and margin uh, color and images so this is very important uh, when we talk about color and images for example if we have taken a uh, dark background and on that if we display any images that have lots of dark color then it will be not clearly visible but if we create a contrast or if we create some matchings of colors then it will be good to see the images same way uh, color is useful if we have some let's say blue uh, blue colors images or image with the more blue colors and the text on the uh, other side or text besides the images that are in yellow color then sometimes it will work sometimes it will not work depends on the what kind of image you have so we have to use the common sense in that case then style so throughout your website whatever styles you follow it should be a same sometimes i have noticed on many website that on home page they have different style on other pages they have different style so it creates the confusion for the users uh sorry yeah another part is user experience so in user experience first thing is accessibility so less skilled or semi skilled or uh, uh, physically disabled person let's say if someone has a uh, uh, readability issue they are not able to read small uh, small characters or fonts for example uh, uh, for example senior citizen person so your font size should be properly uh, proper in size that anyone can easily read it uh another is user flow so throughout your website how is your flow for example if you have a navigation menu if someone goes to about us menu in about us they have different pages like uh, our team ceo cto and then uh quality promise certifications awards and achievement so if someone goes inside the page and then at top they do not find the how to go or how to switch over to or uh, go to the different section then it will be like they first come come to a home page then they again go to uh, the location they want and it will be confusion for them so navigation and user flow should be easy uh, another example for user flow is registration process in simple words i can say minimum field should be there for the registration and process should be easy next is responsive design so whatever website or e-commerce store you have it should be responsive that means it it should display very well on mobile devices or mobile phones lap, uh, laptop uh, different size of screen resolution it should display very well if it distort or it if it's not clear then customer will not uh, come to your website again layouts and images and icon so sometimes it look like layouts image and icon it's a part of ui but it is also part of ux because uh if we use proper icons then user will understand by seeing the icon what what will be on that link for example uh if we display home icon so anyone can easily understand if i click on this icon it will redirect me to home uh if there is a phone icon then anyone can easily understand it is a phone number so layout uh, layouts image and icons Uh, in layouts we can decide what kind of layouts work for us or not and in this case we can do ab testing if we are confused with two or three layouts we can do ab testing for different layouts and we can finalize which layout will work for us excel messages for example uh, if we have uh, put the sign up form and after sign up if we do not show you have successfully sign up message then it will be not good because customer will not understand what happened so they will try to do registration or sign up again so at every action there should be a proper message uh, to be displayed uh, again this is just quick detail quick details about ui ux for the website and e-commerce but if you want to go in detail you can google it you will get lots of information third point four is website speed optimization this is the thing where real game starts so what to do for better website optimization speed the first thing is you should have choose the better host hosting server plays the key role for example many times people go for the shared hosting 
for the cheaper option, but uh, it creates uh, lots of problem in future. For example, there are chance of hacking, there are chance of uh, malware attacks, even at later stage speed issue will be there. So go with better host, uh, use the CDN that is content delivery network for static content like images, uh, CSS files, JavaScript files. So if contents are not changing, you can deliver through the uh, CDN network. Uh, also, we have to check on image size. If we have larger size images on our website, then definitely even if we go with a uh, high price server, then also it will not give you a good speed. So image size needs to take care. Uh, mini, we can minify JavaScript, CSS, and HTML files. We, uh, another point is reduce the plugins and modules. Uh, for example, if we talk about WordPress or Magento or Shopify, <clears throat> so it has uh, plugins or modules. So user keep testing different plugins and modules. And once they see this is this will not work or this is not good fit, they keep it as it is or they keep it disabled. But if we, it's not good practice, it can uh, possible it can happen that if you have disabled a disabled plugin and not updated in future, then it might uh, be a, a door for the hackers to enter to your website. So remove unnecessary plugins. Another disadvantage of using more plugins is it will uh, create a load on your website. So only use the required plugins or modules. Eliminate render blocking resources. So it's like if we have a sequence like the first image, second image, third image, fourth image, or resources. So we have to load it in a sequence in which they require. If we load uh, image that is required first at number four, and we load images that is required at number five at first, then a uh, page will load, but images will not display it. So we have to make sure that we eliminate the render blocking resources. Uh, we should use the website caching and browser caching. Of course, we can use the server caching also, but browser caching will help uh, to speed up the website to re when uh, uh, user revisit your website. Database optimization. Uh, time to time, we should optimize our database uh, and uh, do a maintenance so it will not crash or if we have lots of record then we can do for example indexing i think heman giri is there so he knows better than me about database optimization uh, next is reduce the web fonts nowadays there are uh, offline fonts are available so we can add that font on the website but still uh, people are using uh, using the web fonts I suggest that uh, in case of web fonts, we should only use it for icons purpose, but for other things, we should use uh, fonts with our website so it loads faster. Uh, reduce the redirect. The common example of uh, uh, redirect is HTTPS to HTTPS. So there are four combinations, www.http, www.https, and non-www version of HTTP and HTTPS. So what is our final goal that we have to decide and we can reduce one or two iteration. For example, if we go with uh, without www, then uh, it, we can reduce one or two uh, redirects in certain cases that will also save bandwidth. Check 404 errors on your website. If any page are missing, then it's not good. So we have to remove it. Uh, we can do a file comparison for using ZZIP for CSH, HTML, and JavaScript files. Uh, another thing is integrate AMP, that is accelerated mobile pages. Uh, Google had provided plugin for WordPress, even for other technologies, there are AMP uh, cores and modules available, so we can convert our website to uh, AMP format. Uh, AMP is specially designed for mobile device, so your website will load very faster on your uh, devices. But yeah, yes, of course, you need to do uh, some extra coding for that. And um, we can use uh, different tools for uh, tools to check the website speed optimization. That is uh, Google PageSpeed, GT, uh, GT Matrix, SEO, uh, Checker, and web, web Page Test. So mostly people are using Google PageSpeed and GT, uh, GT Matrix. These two tools are very useful for uh, testing a website uh, speed. Next is uh, marketing and analytics tools integration for the website and e-commerce store. So whenever we have a website, if we have a very good website, uh, we have developed uh, very good content, we have good images, everything is in place and it's all standard and very good. 
but if we do not do a, a proper marketing and analytics of it then we will lose the business how so if we have good traffic and uh, we want to promote uh, one of our product uh, to that particular uh, area but if we do not know from which we are getting traffic we see or we know that lots of people coming to our website but what uh, what is the age range uh, which geographical location they are, uh, they are from or which city they are from what is their background like uh, their education their field of working uh, even their genders so there are so many things that we cannot track without any tools so for that google analytics is good for marketing uh, purpose you can go with uh, google ads uh, facebook pixels hotjar is a tool that is analytical tool so if anyone comes to your website and where they click on what particular area they space lots of time that you can track with hotjar and uh, they give a free option for some limited visits so if you are at if you are startup you can uh, try free version of hotjar and it's free forever uh, another option is hubspot is there for marketing purpose so you can collect the data from your website and uh, if you integrate a hubspot you can pass on the data to hubspot and later on you can use the hubspot for the marketing purpose which will give you a good result and even google analytics google ads facebook pixels hotjar these all things can be connected with the hubspot so it will be kind of 360 degree there are many other tools for analytics and marketing but uh, uh, i have listed that we are mostly using uh, in our day to day business next thing is digital marketing uh, in that there are three things one is seo social media marketing and paid ads so let's talk about the search engine optimization so when we say we want to do a, a search engine optimization for our website so first we should learn about the seo basics that it uh, that is google search console google analytics being webmaster so we need to integrate all these tools to our website it's very simple code that we just need to create account set up uh, set up the account and copy that code and put it on our website another important uh, thing in seo is keyword research uh, if we are not do a good keyword research then whatever we do in terms of effort for the search and optimization it will not give the result in fact all these points are uh, very important but keyword research is the key thing because based on the keywords we will put our all the efforts in seo uh, next is on page seo so it's like based on the our keyword research we will put uh, uh, various keywords in our website like uh, put a keyword in meta tag or keyword in a title tag even what kind of uh, keyword we need we should put on uh, uh, heading one tag or heading two heading three even uh, it is said that initial 100 to 150 words you should put your main target keyword in the top area of the content uh, next is content and schema so if you have research for the keyword you have on page seo that where you want to put particular keywords but if your overall overall website content is not good then it will not work the content flow should be uh, easy to use like uh, google had the mechanism that they uh, in previous years they they were giving the uh, data that your content is at what level for example uh, let's say uh, the student from 5th to 10th standard can read and understand your content or not the student from the college level can uh, uh, understand or not that kind of data google were providing but now they are not providing the data so uh, the thing is content should be easy to understand so anyone can easily understand uh, another point in content is you should highlight uh, things properly for example you can use the uh, list you can highlight some borders you can highlight with the bold italic so that is the content and schema is for the seo purpose so this is not schema is not visible on your content part but uh, let's say if you have uh, shown price on your website so you can connect it to a schema or price schema the uh, same way if you have e-commerce store then schema will be very useful even for normal web, uh, website schema is useful in terms of uh, getting good results on google next is link building so link building is all about 
let's say uh, if you have your website how others know or uh, google will understand that your website is good so if you have a, uh, let's say another take example of the laptop battery so if you are selling a laptop parts and your main focus is on laptop battery then uh, you should link your product page to different blogs different websites where it is explained about the laptop batteries for example if some bloggers are there and they have written a uh, good article on uh, how to replace your laptop battery so you can ask them you can follow the, you can reach out to that person and you can ask that uh, can you uh, add my link or that there are a mechanism it can be a free it can be a paid or it can be a link exchange you give them one link and they will give you another link so that is also possible there are many techniques uh, techniques in link building but uh, you can do a link building uh, optimize ctr that is click to ratio uh, this all are related if we have a uh, did good seo then uh, google will uh, google will how google will see that your website content is good because uh, the algorithm will match that how many backlinks are there how many related contents we have used with the others backlink so based on that criteria google will keep you keep updating and as you come uh, at topper side the user, more user will click on your website once you just start clicking on your website google will also notice how much time they spend on your time uh, uh, if they uh, click on your link and after opening the page if they close then very soon your page will goes down in the google ranking next is social media marketing so uh, social media marketing is very popular but again it depends on the business for some business social media will not work uh, uh, very well but for some business let's say if we talk about entertainment industry or clothing industry then social media play a uh, very good role to get more sales so in social media marketing what we should do is uh, pick a social channel so let's say if we have option to choose facebook linkedin instagram pinterest so what product we have based on that we have to decide uh, initially it was said that if uh, if there is a product for uh, uh, feminine things like uh, lipstick or uh, woman clothing then pinterest was working very well and nowadays uh, instagram is very popular than the facebook for the entertainment industry and uh, fashion industries so you need to choose which so which social pro, uh, media profile is good for you if you are a professional business then linkedin is better option for them uh, you should have a complete profile uh, many people just creates the account and do not update the proper data do not provide the proper details even if you are a company then you you should have your personal profile as well as your company profile or a company page and it should have a clear details so clients or any other person who are visiting your social media or website can Uh, understand about your business uh, follow businesses brands and prospect so we should follow the businesses which are in same domain uh, we should follow the big brands and uh, prospect clients not only we we just follow but we should engage with them so it is not like that we should engage in each and every but of course we should put some efforts to engage with some related things and it will bring more traffic because social media is open platform anyone can see your content so if you keep engaging people more and more people will see your content uh, next is social media media calendar and schedule so it is not possible for uh, everyone to uh, write a post and uh, uh, write a post and post it on particular time let's say if we are sitting in india and our target market is usa so it is definitely clear that we should post A particular post on social media at USA time zone. Even when we talk about USA, we should focus on which cost. Either it's uh, Eastern cost or Western cost. If it's uh, Eastern cost, then time will be different. For Western cost, time will be different. So based on that, we should set the time schedule. And there are lots of uh, scheduling softwares and tools available, so we can use it. So in our day time, we can write a lots of post or content and schedule it. comment reply if we have posted anything and if we see any comments then definitely we should reply as soon as possible same thing for the monitor mentions some in some cases the uh, people mention you uh, i had experience that uh, uh, for one of our uh, uh, team 
uh, and of course it's a free theme. So someone has mentioned that, uh, uh, can anyone suggest Magento to free, free themes? So one of uh, person who knows me, he has mentioned me and uh, not, not put the notes that uh, Frigo theme is uh, very popular and it's a free theme. It's, it, it has uh, features like a pro theme. So then after that person has contacted me also, uh, he said, yes, it is really good theme. And later on, he had given more work to us for customization. So we need to keep look on the mentions. Trending hashtags. So whatever uh, hashtags are in trend, we should monitor. And uh, based on that, we should add the hashtags in our post also. So our post will uh, reach to more people. Uh, content strategy. So if we do all the things in social, uh, social media marketing, but if we do not have good content, then no one will read. So content, again, I will say content is king when it comes to a social media marketing or digital marketing. I mean, uh, in marketing content is a king, in business, customer is king. And the last thing is uh, about social media marketing that is promote your social media channels. So if we do not promote properly, let's say, if we have online store, if customers are visiting, we can show a pop-up message and ask them to follow to a social media or social channels. Uh, if we have physical store plus online store, so if customer visiting to our physical store, we can ask them to follow our uh, social media or ask them to give a good review on uh, uh, Google or any social media. So it will help to reach more people and it will create a proof of concept for us. Third thing in digital marketing is paid ads. So of course, paid ads play a, a good role and it, it gives the good result. Uh, I mean, I, I would say instead of good result, it's a quick result. So if we go for the SEO and social media marketing, it will take some time. Slowly it will come up and it will give result. Of course, it will give a uh, result for a longer time. But if we need a quick result, then paid ads is the option. So with paid ads, we can do it with Google, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. We can uh, we can do a paid ads based on the business. We have to decide which social media ad platform is good for us. But when we do a paid ads, we have to keep few things in mind. One is keyword research. The keyword, as I said uh, previously, keyword research is a very important factor in digital marketing. So based on keyword research, we need to prepare the landing pages and we need to create ad copy. Uh, so landing page is the page where we have explained a particular product or the things or services that we are targeting uh, to a people. We explain more and more detail from different perspective on that page. So definitely landing page will be a uh, very lengthy pages. Uh, ad copy, you have to use your own creativity or you can hire some agency or you can hire some freelancers to write ad copy for you. Once you add copy, you have to decide the budget and you can uh, create the ads on uh, various platform. So when you go with the ads, uh, it might be case that you are not understand which one or which options will work. So we can go with A-B testing, we keep monitoring and then we can change uh, ads. Uh, uh, once we have A-B testing done, so if we are keep running a few ads uh, which are been in the A-B testing, but still we need to observe it um, weekly or monthly basis. And if required, we need to modify uh, the ad copy or the target area or the budget. Sometimes it will, it will happen that uh, uh, we get a good traffic, but we do not see any conversion uh, from the paid ad traffic. So at that time, we need to monitor and adjust our uh, ads, targets, uh, targeting audience. And again, we have to do some testing and it will give a result. Okay, that is from my side. Uh, thanks for your time and thanks for giving me opportunity. So we are open for the questions. Yeah, Sanjay Bhai, thanks for uh, such an in-depth presentation. Uh, we are really happy to get all those details from you. And I am sure uh, we can take uh, some tips to improve our own websites over here so that uh, our business as AIC Sufi High Life can also grow. Sure. Uh, 
uh, right now i don't see any questions over here in the chat session uh, but if someone has a question then feel free to raise your hand over here and we'll unmute you so that you can ask the question yeah so sanjay bhai i don't think there are any questions right now so okay. thanks for your time and all this uh, critical inputs on uh, growing the business that is the digital secrets of the business growth uh, i am sure we will be taking your help to improve our aic surti i lab website soon and let's yeah. see how we can grow our business over here sure and thank you very much uh, to surti i lab for giving me this uh, this opportunity to uh, give my knowledge and share my knowledge with you guys thank you thank you and uh, see you soon bye for now